Hey everybody, this is Jim, and here are my plants in my hydroponic system. That right there is a earthly girl. She's got three or more tomatoes that I can see. She probably has more. She's hiding them a lot. Next in line we have our cu cucumber. Nice little big, big one right there. I might have to get that today. She vines up. Sometimes she's she's a little saggy, but I try to lift her up. That's a Eden size cucumber for the uh, the muncher cucumber. You can see that my pipe water in it. Yeah. Lots of flowers. And this is a sweet 100 tomato plant. It's got a couple of nice pearl sized green tomatoes. That's perlite that's in those buckets holding the, the plant up. Yeah. yeah, this is one of my summer squash plants. And it's got a nice summer squash about seven inches long. I think I'm going to harvest this today. It looks nice. Well, that's a nice one, too. It's about three inches long. Nice big shaded leaves on that. And if you notice, there's hardly any insects on my plants. I use no insecticide at all. That's another early girl tomato. The plants don't need insecticide if they're healthy. If they're healthy, they're not stressed out. And insects only are attracted to plants that are stressed out. Those are nice tomatoes. I can't wait to put them on my salad. It'll be nice. Here's one of my wife's plants that attracts a lot of bees. The bees are very important to any gardener. Without bees, we can't grow vegetables. There's another early girl. She's on the other side of my little black trellis thing. It gets a lot more shade than the front. So I got a lot of flowers, but not too many tomatoes yet. But it still looks healthy. Maybe a little leaf curl there. Oh, there's there's a tomato there. That's nice. There's another summer squash. Like I said, this side of the garden it doesn't get as much sun as the other side. So my little oh, sorry about that focus thing. My summer squash on this plant isn't as big as the first plant. But eventually, they'll get big enough to, to harvest. And with summer squash and cucumbers both, you have to harvest them on a regular basis once they start getting them about six, seven inches. Otherwise, they'll produce seeds once the seeds become viable, then they won't produce any more fruit. This is a sweet 100 tomato plant. It's, this finds out pretty good. 
that PVC cap has only got drilled out holes in it for the drip 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 system. There's my cucumber. There's a lot of male flowers on this cucumber plant. So I want to keep it around though. There is a couple of female flowers. Like that one right there, the white one. The males don't produce any fruit or vegetables. Only the, the females do. And that's my last early girl tomato. And she's got flowers, but I don't think she has any tomatoes yet. Maybe tomorrow. My, my bucket system. I have Master Grow or Master Blend hydroponic um, food for my plants. The, the drain goes down below the bricks and then back up and then around the corner and then up and back into the round um, lidded sump at 70 gallons. I have a a pond pump, a fountain pump that is 1,375 gallons per hour pumping water up through that small three-quarter inch pipe. I also have a air pump that's 1,030 gallons per hour for air. And the, the air pump is on 24-7. Yeah, I'm not sure if the way I'm watering really needs the air pump, but it seems like it's working for me. So I'm gonna keep it. If you have any ideas, please comment below. That's where the, the water pump goes up and through those pipes and in, into the top of the buckets. There's my little timer there. You can probably get that on on Amazon for about seven dollars. Yeah, that's more of the water piping. It's a, a loop, and then I have down comers that goes on top of the buckets into the buckets and then it all drains back into the big sump. This pipe right here that I'm showing with the little blue valve that you're going to see right now, that is a mister system that keeps the center of my trestle there kind of cool. I know that cucumbers and tomatoes and squash don't like the 110 degree heat that we get here in the Fresno Valley. You can you can tell that it's kind of a mist there. It's really nice on a warm day. I turn it on when it's about 80 to 85, and I keep it on until just before sunset. It's really nice. Thanks for watching.